Good day guys. Welcome to Maths is Made Easy by Teacher Satya. In this video, I'll be teaching on how to find a profit percent when we know the cost price and the selling price. But make sure you watch until the end of the video to understand more about this topic. Alright guys, let's get to it. Now in this video, what we have is we have a cost price, we have a selling price and we have to find the profit percent. Now first of all, what we are going to be doing here is we are going to find the profit value. That means how much is the profit. So the profit formula is equal to the selling price minus the cost price, right? Where we have $4,600 minus $4,000 which is equal to $600. So the profit in this case is equal to $600. Now we can go to the final step in order to find a profit percent or which I like to call P percent. A P percent formula is equal to profit over the cost price multiplied by 100. Right guys, so the profit over the cost price multiplied by 100. Now, in this case, we have everything here. We have the profit, we have the cost price, so we can straight away find the P percent. The profit is 600 over the cost price, which is equal to 4,000 multiplied by 100. Right, guys? Now, when we are at this stage now, we can straight away simplify the zeros here. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these two zeros with these two zeros. Right, guys. Now I'm going to also cut this zero with this zero. Now what I have remaining is equal to 60 over 4, which is equal to 15 percent. Therefore, the p percent for question one is equal to 15 percent. All right, guys. Now going ahead to question number. Two, we are going to do the exact same steps. First, what we're going to do is we are going to find the profit value. So the profit value is equal to the selling price minus the cost price. In this case, we have 13,500 minus 12,000, which is equal to $1,500 or 1,000. Guys, now in order to find the profit percent, I'm going to put in the formula which is profit over the CP multiplied by 100. So, what do we have here? The profit is equal to 1500 over the CP in this question, which is 12,000, and we are going to take this and multiply by 100. Now again guys, we are going to simplify some zeros here. So we are straight away going to simplify these two zeros. And I am going to simplify this zero with this zero. So what I have left is equal to 150 over 12, which is equal to 12.5%. So in this case, the profit percent for question number 2 would be equal to 12.5%. Right, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to click on the like button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss on anything. Until next time, guys, have a nice day.